Hi guys, it's Coach Natalie. I hope everyone's doing well. In today's video, I'm going to go over some handstand drills that you guys can do at home. Before we get into the handstand drills, I want to make sure that you guys have all stretched, so I'm going to link those stretching videos down below for you guys. Today, I'll be demonstrating all of these handstand drills for you guys, and Coach Kim will be telling us the technique we need to follow when executing these drills. Please make sure that you guys have parental supervision when doing these drills, just like in class as coaches are watching you. The same should be happening at home. Also, please understand that you guys will all be at different levels, so some of you may be able to do one or two of these, some of you may be able to do all of them, it just depends on your level, the class you're in, how much you practice, how long you've been with us, all of those things. Alright, today I'm going to be using an ottoman, a wall, and some masking tape to show you guys these drills. Alright guys, so I'm going to start from the more beginner drills and move all the way up to the more advanced drills, so just follow along as far as you can go. Alright, let's get started. Hi guys, Coach Kim here. Uh, we're going to do a bunch of variations of drills today that will help strengthen your handstands and your core. Uh, we're going to start the first one off with a push-up hold, push-up position hold, and then a walk if you can do it. So you're going to start in a big to that, go down to a squat, uh, walk your hands out to a tape line, and feet on an ottoman if you've got one, or anything that will work and we're going to just hold a push-up position. You're gonna be squeezing your bottom, squeeze your feet together, squeeze your belly. Um, notice Natalie's shoulders are over her hands and her head is tucked. She's just gonna hold that for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. She can come on down to her squat and shake out her wrists. A little bit. Good. You're gonna do it again and hopefully hold it for 20 this time and with maybe a long-term goal of 30. So we're gonna start in a big to that, down to a squat, hands on tape if you've got it. Just helps mark your body position to get it in a good push-up position, bottom, bottom down, squeezing your belly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Jump down to your squat. Shake out your wrists. Big to that. Now we're going to do a variation on that drill. Um, we're always going to start in our todas. Remember that's really important. And then down to our squats. Walk our hands to our push up position. Line up your thumbs, fingertips forward. Get into your push-up position, bottom down, tummy's tucked, and now we're going to walk in this position as far as your ottoman or whatever you've designed is, and then back. You can do this as many times as you can. Natalie's just going to do it once for demonstration purposes. Back to your squat, and finish in a big to that. This drill that we're going to demonstrate for you is um, called a, an L handstand. Uh, we've done them in class. Most of, one of the first things I want you to make sure you're doing right is your hand placement. So you want to see how Natalie has her fingers open and her thumbs kind of line up. Um, you want to always have your thumbs, to, like if you were to bring them together, they'd line up. Uh, the opposite would be twisting out and we don't want to do that. Um, so we want to make sure our, our, our thumbs are in a line. Those and like this. and uh, yeah. Good. yeah, just like that. And also they're going to be, your hands are always going to be in line with your arms, which are always going to be shoulder width apart, so hiding your ears. Okay? And then this start in a ta-da. Go down to our squat. Fingertips against the wall. Thumbs in line. And you're going to step up onto your raised surface. And you're going to press your entire body against the wall. So your hands, shoulders, and hip and bottom. Back is straight against the wall. Head is neutral. See how Natalie has her ears. Um, in line with her shoulders. This ottoman's a little low for Natalie. You can do something even higher to make a perfect L, um, but she's done a good job about getting her whole back against the wall. I'm going to count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Jump down to your squat and finish in your big to that. Now you can do this again for 10 seconds. I would do it, you know, one to three times. And then I would also try to increase the duration, like 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. 
And when you're counting, as we do in class, the best timing on your count is one gymnastics, two gymnastics, three gymnastics. So when I say 10 gymnast, 10, 10, a count of 10, it would be one gymnastics in your head too. Um, and hopefully your goal would be able to get up to 30 seconds. So do it as often as you can, but at least do the drill two times, three times. So pause our video, do it a couple times, and then start the video. Uh, second variation on this drill would be we're going to, again, start in a ta-da. Down to your squat, fingertips against the wall, thumbs lined up. You're gonna climb into your L handstand, and you're gonna walk the length of your raised surface. Ours is a little bit limited, but if you have a longer one, go as far as you can and then backwards the other way. Make sure to keep your wrist in line, your thumbs in line, and your hips over your shoulders, over your hands. And down to your squat and finish. Another variation on the L handstand, which is slightly harder, so uh, make sure you can do the first variation first. If you can hold that for um, a significant amount of time, then you can try this version. You can start in your ta-da, go down to your squat, Climb onto your raised surface and get into a really good L handstand. And now you can lift one leg, hold for 10 seconds, and then alternate, hold the other leg, hold for 10 seconds, and come down and leap to that finish. And you wanna do that, uh, holding for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds again, just like the other one, alternating legs um, until you can Make, make those numbers, but start out slow, hold for as long as you can, alternate legs, and your goal would be 10 seconds, come down, 20 seconds, come down, and then at your very top would be 30 seconds, and you wanna do maybe every drill that we're showing you a set of one to three times. Start with one and try to do a set of three. And the last version of this drill, which would be the, the top, the most difficult for those that can do all the previous drills, is you're going to finish all the way in a handstand. So you're gonna do the same beginning, come up to your L, and then you're gonna go all the way to a handstand and hold your handstand for 10 seconds, and come down, and finish right to that. And again, do that for 10 seconds, come down, do it again for 20 if you can, with your goal being 30 seconds. I actually had to lift Natalie's leg on that because um, the, our ottoman was moving. So we, we, have some, we have some equipment adjustments we'll have to make. But um, yeah, Nat, uh, I, I lifted her up just because she couldn't kick up without knocking the ottoman over. Okay, the next set of drills is going to be working the beginning of the handstand. Um, the drills we did prior were working your shoulders, getting your shoulder strength so that you can support your body weight in your handstand. So it's really important you do those drills so that you are able to support your body weight, not go on your head. Now we're gonna be working on <clears throat> the entry and exit into the handstand. And this is requiring a lot of core. So you're gonna be using your belly. When I say core, that refers to your, um, your belly. You're gonna really squeeze your belly and focus on those muscles. That's how you're gonna um, be successful on these drills. So first thing we're gonna do, we have our yoga mat turned the other way so that Natalie has um, a line. As again, once again, we're using the line, so important. Um, your feet want to be on the line. So that's gonna correct keeping your hips square. So you wanna have your toes and heels on the line, both your front leg and your back leg. So basically, wherever your toes are is where your hips are. Your toes are, your hips are gonna follow your toes. So if you turn your toes to me, your hips are gonna turn to me. Um, and if, so if you keep your toes straight, your hips will be straight. So you're gonna start in your lunge. You're gonna do this on, so this is called a lunge. Everybody knows that. And we are going to do it on our good leg and our bad leg. Good leg meaning your stronger leg, that's how you go into your handstands and your cartwheels. Um, and you're also gonna do it on your bad leg because when we, when we progress to cartwheels, um, you land a cartwheel on your bad leg. So it's important you do both. We've also got a piece of tape on the wall, that is for our first drill, because we're always gonna hit our T's. Um, we're gonna always start in a lunge and then go into the T position as we go into the handstand. So now I'm just gonna demonstrate. I've placed the tape so that, so you wanna place the line, right, so that she can do beautiful T. See how her body's in the perfect T shape? And then back to lunge. So when you're placing the tape, parents, if you wanna, you, know, you wanna um, 
also you want to place their foot and you can also put a piece of tape where their front foot's gonna go and their back foot as well because a lot of times kids will put their feet too close together and you want to have a good a good space between the front leg and the back so if they um, in gymnastics everything wants to be extended and stretched as far as you can so you don't want to do anything kind of closed up or cramped so um, now they show me what I mean if you put your feet too close together so if they put their front foot and their back foot too close and now we're trying to do a lunge into a T. It, yeah, it's just, it breaks the lines. We're always looking for lines. So we want to have full extension, legs straight, body extended as far as it can. So you want to make sure that your starting position is good because starting position um, determines the whole trick. Okay, so we're going to start in our lunge. Make sure our feet are, um, toes are facing forward, heels are on the tape, our legs are um, not too close together and we're gonna reach up first, and then reach towards the wall to hit your T. One, two, three, and back to lunge, one, two, three. Notice that Natalie did not drop her arms the whole time, so the goal is for the kids to keep their arms covering their ears the whole time. That'll be the most difficult part because that's the part that really requires the core. Um, sometimes you can put washcloths or fold it up dish towel or anything they want and have them hold those up so that their arms, it'll keep them um, holding their arms up. So we want to do um, a set of five on your good leg and then a set of five on your bad leg. So you're going to start up, stretch tall, touch your teeth, reach your teeth, and back. And hold for two, two, and back. And remember to count one, two, three, T, one, two, three, lunge, one, two, three. One, two, three, and back. And after they do five, they're gonna switch feet. So they're gonna put their other leg in front. And one leg will definitely be easier than the other. Their bad leg should be a bit harder. And it's the exact same thing. Reach up tall, hide your ears, stretch into your T, one, two, three and back to your lunge. Remember, standing on the tape line in the lunge for three seconds is as equally as important as the rest of the drill. Uh, it's actually pretty challenging, so um, hold for one, two, three, kick to T, one, two, three, back to lunge, one, two, three. I would do uh, five on each leg, and then again, one to three sets um, every time you do a practice session. Then the next level of that would be going um, past the T, you're going to reach the T, so I keep the tape line, but then go down to the ottoman and back to the lunge. Just taking this skill a little bit further, um, past the T, and um, anything they could set in as their prop to touch down that would be kind of halfway between their T mark on the wall and the ground. So just giving them um, something to reach towards. And again, switch legs, start in your lunge, one, two, three, reach to the tape, down to the ottoman, back up, reach to, make sure you're hitting that T on your way down and up. So when we start this skill, um, I always tell the kids with your arms up, they're actually gonna reach up and their fingertips and their toes are gonna make a line and they can't break the line. So they're actually gonna lead with their foot and their hands and their toes move, their fingers and their toes move together. So show a difference where you drop your foot in your hands so she's broken her line okay so we, what we don't want to see is let's show a version of dropping your arms first so where you're going to drop your arms first and then kick and then drop your arms that's what most kids will do so that's what we don't want to do we want to make sure that they have the line and everything moves together and their line never breaks all the way through the skill good and then the last version, we would slide the, the line out or move backwards. Um, if you've got a yoga mat, this is working really great. I didn't even anticipate how well this would work before we started filming. Um, but you can just adjust your yoga mat um, back a little bit further. Now she's gonna do the same thing, but she's gonna go all the way to the floor. So you wanna still hit the positions, T, down, floor, back to T, up to lunge. Um, good and switch legs. Up, reach, touch, back to 
nice and lunge. Beautiful. Now Natalie's doing it almost technically correct. The version you're probably going to have, the kids are going to be working on, especially our younger, some of our kids that have been with us, you know, four years or more, are going to be able to do this really, really easily. Um, however, some of our beginners and everything, you're going to see more of a version like this to show them what they would normally, they're going to probably just, yeah, do something like that. Um, so it's just, an, an, and always they're going to drop their arms probably, so do a drop in arm version. They're going to, most of them are going to do something like that. And so really the first thing we want to work on is just not dropping the arms. I mean, getting this gorgeous line and hitting these T positions, that's the top. But in the beginning, just getting them to be able to go down and up and keeping their arms by their ears and really learning to engage their, their bellies and use their core. Yeah, a um, lot of their legs are probably going to go up once their feet, their hands hit, which is okay. Yeah. So you've seen what it's what our long end term goal is, but you know expectations lower them, and um, that takes a lot of practice. Um, Nada has been doing this her whole life, um, and a lot of our kids that can do this have been in this a long time. So the more they practice, the more this will all just start to fall into place. The last handstand drill that we have for you guys today is um, variations on uh, what we call Spider Man. So all you need is a wall. Uh, if you have a yoga mat or some masking tape. Use it, if not, no big deal. We're gonna start into that. Go down to our spot. Climb up the wall with our feet. Look for your toes. Be sure you hide your ears. Squeeze, push through your shoulders as tall as you can. Squeeze your belly, squeeze your bottom. Make sure your hips and shoulders and wrists are in line. Count to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back down to a squat and finish in our that. And with that Spider-Man drill, um, as with all the other drills, you want to do anywhere from a set of one, one to three, oh, uh, working your way up to three sets, and starting with counting to 10, and then you can work your way to 20, and then 30 seconds. But always try to do at least two to three sets. Okay, and the next uh, drill is a variation on that. You're gonna start in your Spider-Man. You're gonna start your Tada. Go down to your squat. Climb up to your Spider-Man. Remember, look at your toes. And now we're gonna walk as far as you can to the left. You can also go to the right or just come down and go to that. And you can do that as far as you can, back and forth as many times as you can. As the more you practice, the more you'll be able to, the longer you'll be able to stay up, the farther you can travel. And the last drill, which would be the most advanced variation on this, uh, we are going to start in a tada, go down to a squat, climb up to your Spider-Man, and now you're going to walk your hands back to the wall, all the way back. Notice that is keeping her head in, shoulders in line with her wrist, squeezing everything really tight, squeezing her belly, tucking her bottom, squeezing her belly, and then cartwheel out. As with all the drills, try to hold for 10, three sets. Try to work your way up to 20 and then again 30. And that's it. Have fun. All right, guys, those are all the hands and drills we have for you. I hope you guys followed along and had fun. I know we had fun sharing them with you. And I hope you guys are finding some fun things to do while staying safe inside. Um, you guys are constantly in our thoughts, and we can't wait to get back in the gym with you guys when everything is safe. All right, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.